Good morning. Today I want to go through a quick walkthrough on using the shape string in FreeCAD and draft on the draft workbench. Uh, today I'm using version 0.17, version 9651. This is a um, the FreeCAD daily, uh, so I get all the latest and greatest. Thank you for to the developers for making FreeCAD. It's awesome. So. Um, what we're going to start with is, uh, let me get out of this sketch that I happen to be in, is just showing you going to the, the draft workbench. And I'm going to start with just by throwing a uh, shape string right on the, the XY working plane. Um, so what I want to start with is switching the working plane to XY, and I'm looking down from the top. So it's as if it's laying on a table and you're looking down. So I'm going to select the shape string tool and I'm going to snap to a point on the grid. Let me move my grid, my snap workbench here, or toolbar, sorry, and I'm going to select snap to grid. Um, that's just the way I like to work it. So I'm going to add the word subscribe. And that is my subliminal message to you to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Uh, I. So I set the, the height in millimeters. I do zero tracking because it doesn't seem to work for me or I might be doing something wrong, I don't know. The path to the fonts on Linux is user share fonts. And I just, then I'm copying this because when you hit the browse ellipsis, it doesn't bring that path over. Um, so that doesn't work out. So the one I'm using is Grun Shift, which is the one I downloaded. And I'm gonna do regular and hopefully it works real nice and it did okay so sometimes I get stuck processing this and it locks up my free CAD so I did a fresh reboot Ooh, look I spelled it wrong that's okay I did a fresh reboot so that it wouldn't lock up and I get to show you how to change that right nice and easy so that's a spelling mistake I just changed okay so it's a live object so you can see that's that's a non dimensional flat plane on the XY um, so to give that the first thing I want to show you is you can give that uh, thickness in the draft workbench you can only extrude to the best of my understanding is is one letter at a time and the way you extrude it is you select the plane of the letter see how it's just the plane selected and none of the outline and then you do a um, draft extrude but before I do that the, the or I'm sorry the trim or extend the uh, this plane before I need to do that, I'm going to need something to select length with. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to... Let's see, why isn't it doing that? I'm going to switch the working plane to the front. So now you can see the plane is is uh, tangent to the, to the object I'm working with. So now let's select that subscribe plane again. And now there are other... I could just put in a... a dimension directly but I like to do it graphically you can see it better so now you can see I can I can trim to any spot along this axis um, I can snap to the grid to get a you know exact measurement and that's how you can uh, extrude each of these letters so that's what for the in the draft workbench you have to extrude each one individually which gives you the option of going easily in different directions there you go okay so let me show so with that um, let me show you another way I'm going to move this back to top and let's zoom in on that so now let's create another string I'm sorry before we create the other string let's create a an object so I'm just going to create a, a box let's make it long and then let's extrude that box up. Uh, okay. So, and again, I can't really grab it. There's not, I'll use this to get my height. So FreeCAD just, it just wants something to go off of, to, to snap to. So if you don't have anything in that, uh, in, if you don't have anything in the axis to snap off of, you'll have to put in a direct dimension or, or change your working plane. So now that I have my little box that I want to work off of, um, I'm going to, now I'm going to do my my uh, shape string, and I, I'm going to let it snap to the corner of that box. And let's do a um, so what is there? The subscribe. There's like, and there's let's do like, okay. And let's make it. We'll make it also two millimeters. Zero tracking, 
and let's just go right into the font thing there. I'm going to paste what I had before and then type G to get my Grundschrift. German, German followers, please tell me if I'm saying that right. And there I have my like text now on top of on on top of my box. So by selecting that corner, I this uh, this like text or this like shape string is in this is in the same plane as the top of that box. So at this point, what we can do is we can um, take that shape string and move over to the draft or the part workbench. Okay, and uh, I'm just going to click. Sa I'm going to save this real quick and. Um, Call it text. That's in case it crashes. I can come back to this. So I've, I've got that shape string. Now what we're going to do is we're going to extrude that selected sketch, and you'll see that it gives us uh, this ex extrude combo. I'm going to just move this down to, uh, to let's just make it two millimeters, and I'm not going to change anything else. I'm going to keep it real simple, and that extrudes the entire text, which you can see is wonderful instead of having to do each letter individually, which you may be able to use in some circumstances, uh, I get to do the whole thing at the same time. So now I'm going to show you, because we have that whole text, now we can do a Boolean with that um, by moving, I'm going to move it down into the object. So I'm going to select the Z axis and go negative. So now that's embedded in the object. Um, so this extrusion and this extrusion, we're going to select the, uh, the cuboid sort of thingy and select the text and we're going to do a boolean cut and that'll get us uh, the lettering cut out of that shape so sort of you know reversed embossing so by just adding it to the shape you get embossing and you can get a cut out of the letters the other way if you like okay so it would be a good way to brand whatever you're working on and then if you need to I think I could just move the whole thing in the X direction if I needed to. Nope, wrong thing. Let's try to move this in the X and see what happens. Oh, so it's gonna go into oh no, that's good. So you were able to move I thought it was I thought it was gonna get in stuck stuck in recalculation land. So that's great. So so we got subscribe and like. Hint hint hint. Okay, and the final thing I'm gonna do is this it's a very similar to this, but it's gonna be using the part design. But again, the only place you can do the lettering is in draft. So now I'm going to do a shape, shape string in, um, I will do one more shape string and I'll just, I'm going to hit, put that on the grid there and we'll do share just to go along with our theme, no tracking. Let's get to the font file again. I'm pasting in my font directory and then typing G to get the autofill pick regular and then we got share okay so this time instead of um, to get it to highlight the whole thing you have to click off and then click back on to get it to re-highlight you can't just click on top um, so to get the whole thing to get an extrusion from the part design workbench so yeah so the part design workbench is pad or pocket so the part design workbench should let me pad it um, but what you'll see is you get this right away it's got to be part of a body now I know if I happen to click any of these and okay it crashes my free tad so I'm not gonna do that um, I'm, instead I'm gonna move this to another body and it says select the body from the list we'll just say okay so now it's part of that body now when I do pad it will just pad it so you can see uh oh what happened well the problem with padding in, in, inside the sketcher or the part design uh, thing is that when it tries to pad, so you have the shape string there, when it tries to pad um, within within the sketcher framework, it needs it needs um, a contiguous shape to pad off of. So uh, it just tries to, it selects only the one. You're gonna run into this, like say if you had four posts and nothing underneath them. So let's do something underneath them. Let's see if I can do that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a box underneath that and then I'm, I'm gonna pause the video and come right back so you're not, waste, I don't waste your time with the box. Okay, so now I'm back and you'll see I've got a box underneath that and I removed that previous, pa previous pad. 
but now that it's got um, geometry to build off of, and they, the folks over at FreeCAD have a more specific or more technical jargon for this than I do. I forget what it is. Sorry about that, guys. But you'll see I'll select the shape string, and now when I pad it, you'll see after it calculates that it pads the whole word. Um, so it basically it just it can't pad something out in the middle of nowhere. It, it just it wants one solid uh, pad wants one solid object. So now you can see I can um, change the size of that. The thing you will notice though is is pad um, in the part design it boy it just bogs my computer down like crazy. I can make do with with when it um, when it's an extrusion, but when I pad text it just it knocks the crap out of my out of my PC. So I don't not sure what the difference is, but I um, there it goes. You caught up finally. Oops, nope, still going. Let me go to two. Let's see where it ends up. But you can see it just really just like brings my computer down to a crawl. Um, I'm old as dirt computer, 32 bit, not you know just two. I think it has two processors or something like that. So probably my fault. So not mad at anybody. Just just want to give you a warning. So that's it. Um, you know you can do a lot with the uh, free CAD text. There's there's uh, you, you know you can do whatever you need to do with text. So if you if you like this, definitely please subscribe, like it, and share it. Hooray!